today we are meant to consider attitudes. How you think about yourself and others becomes your body language. That is how the mark of how the world may perceive you. If you think negative attitudes, we all have a few negative thoughts. The world may perceive you to be a negative person. Your body language may suggest that you are always worried, anxious, or fearful. The list can go on and on. In this play, some of the characters' attitudes do change so that they find an inner peace that suggests calmness and love. Entering the stage in your left is Jane, a member of the Saturday Afternoon Lecture Club. With her is her alter ego, Jane too. That inner voice that spontaneously comes from Jane's mind. Here comes Mary, another member of the club. And with her is Mary too, the alter ego that only Mary can hear. Hi, Jane. I didn't know you were going to be here today. Why didn't she tell me she was coming? She didn't tell me this yesterday. Uh, I wouldn't really miss it. Every time I come, I think it's the best lecture ever. Oh, no. I should have asked her to come with me. I only live two blocks away. I'm so glad you're here. Let's sit together, shall we? Well, that's a good joke. I like that, uh, if it's okay with you. Here are two empty chairs. Do you think it'd be all right if we sit here? Does she really want to sit with me, or does she think she has to? <laughs> Mary, when we were on the phone yesterday, you said you had to go to the doctor. Is everything okay? Oh, I meant for it now. She's going to give me the whole catalog of everything she thinks is wrong with her. Yes, I went, but um, he didn't have much to say. How could I possibly tell her how scared I am? And all those tests that I'm going to have to take. The way the doctor looked at me when he was examining me. And to top it all off, I'm almost 40. I'm falling apart. <laughs> well, no news is good news. I don't believe it. She's not going to entertain us with all her illness. You know, you have such a good doctor. And you've always been so healthy. In fact, your whole family's healthy. Oh, for being sick, Mary. Why don't you just let yourself live? There's nothing wrong with you. Why is everything sound so wonderful with her? She'll find out what's what when I have to be in the hospital. Lord, when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. Um, attitude number one, health is inner peace. Healing is letting go of fear. Do you remember? You had something you wanted to give her. That is, if you still want to give it to her. Thank you. 
beautiful for workers. She was so pleased. Most people don't appreciate fine crochet, and but you're just so special to her. This is the only gift she could give you. What difference does it make what the gift is? Jeez, I break rules, but when somebody just offers me a cup of coffee, why can't she just accept it? Take it. It says I love you. <laughs>
focus on the joy of the complete day rather than a few minutes of concern. Our world is filled with concerns for health, for accident, for natural calamity. Often, we let ourselves into fear, imagined woes, and superstition. Let the peace of Jesus and the love of God penetrate our souls. Our world is filled with our greatest gifts. They are ours to enjoy, to use, and to share. Generosity is part of the spiritual lessons we learn. Let the peace of Jesus and the love of God penetrate our souls. Exactly. Every 24 hours is a new shawl that we can wrap ourselves in to protect us from the past and the future. Let the peace of Jesus and the love of God penetrate our souls. May the diversities of our minds and actions become a pleasure and adventure to open new paths for us to follow. Let the peace of Jesus and the love of God penetrate our souls. Sometimes, little irritations grow quickly. They become so big, they cover up and hide the really good things that surround us. Let the peace of Jesus and the love of God penetrate our souls. Every day has good times and bad. The secret is, do you know what to judge? That was my ugly twin. <laughs> I like to keep, keep it kind of tucked away, but like that character, I have a talking head inside my head. There's a conversation going on almost all the time. Is this weird or what? I really don't think so. This inner conversation helps to shape our attitudes and the way we think about everything. This is the way we process, and it shapes our lives. You know, years ago, when I was starting out in sales, I was taught that you are what you think. If you think you're going to be successful, well, You'll be successful. Our attitudes and our thoughts are so powerful. The Reverend Charles Swindoll, Christian author, and he also serves as chancellor to the Dallas Theological Seminary, says this about attitude. The longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on my life. Attitude to me is more important than facts. It's more important than the past, than education, money, criticisms. It's more important than failures or success. It's more important than what other people think or what they say or do. It's more important than appearance, giftedness, or skills. It can make or break a company, or a church, or a home. The remarkable thing is we have a choice every day regarding the attitude that we will embrace for that day. We can't change the past. We can't change the fact that people will act in a certain way. We can't change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play that one string that we have, and that is our attitude. I'm convinced that life is 10% of what happens to me and 90% of how I react to it. And so it is with each of us. We are in charge of our attitude. And so I thought that I would share with you some of my favorite attitude changers. 
from Paul, who writes to the Romans. Be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourself. From Ephesians, be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. From Hebrews, let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds. Micah 6, 8, the Lord has told you what is good, and this is what God requires of you, to do what is right, to love mercy, to walk humbly with your God. And one that I carry with me <laughs> since those crazy sale days. Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. But you know what? Sometimes there are those incredibly bad days when you feel like you can't even get out of your own way. And you know that your attitude's bad and you can't figure it out. And and I think of the song of the thing that you sing. And it is my prayer. Change my heart, oh God. Change my heart, oh God. Let us, the body of Christ Jesus, align our hearts and thinking with you, oh Christ. Amen. Oh,